Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the new Circularize option in Maya 2018. Circularize is a very nice option and very easy to handle. Just you need to know how to operate that particular option. Now, you can see a very complex objects uh, lying uh, on, in the viewport in my scene. And uh, you, you can have easily understand that this kind of object can be only made through boolean or a very complex extrusion or vertex adjustment now in maya 2018 through circularize you can create this kind of uh, complex object very easily and also with your uh, with, with a great amount of control like you can see that i have uh, two uh, circular shape like a cylindrical kind of shape which has been extruded from a box shape object now this is a very uh, interesting and complex object which you cannot do earlier in maya in a very easy way now the difference uh, i would not say difference the plus point is that you can see that i can control through circularize i can i can control that how the ob how the extrusion will happen like will it happen gradually like over here which is which has happened or it will be a subtle like a nuts or bolt which will be coming out or protruded or extruded from another surface now this is a very interesting one and i hope that after uh, going through this particular lecture you will be able to create more complex objects on your own and there are a lot of uh, complex objects which is specifically hard surface modeling which will be much more easier to you uh, through uh, by using the circularize so let's see how it can be done okay uh, I'll just move this one and just create a single box or a cube object. Scale them up. Increase the subdivision level to 4. Now you can see uh, <coughs> Go to the mesh edit mesh option and you can see the circularize option over here now i'm going to the option box right now i will explain all the options over here but i would rather suggest that if you if you go one after another will be a very good one not in uh, as a whole but at the end of the day you can control uh, all of the option together and create your own version of options which you can imply on your object with, for the desired result so now first of all i would like to tell you that a lot of people have thought that uh, the circularize option it actually worked on the looped edges like uh, if i select in the edge mode uh, this one and hit circularize by having a very default option and that's it it's it's been done which is actually not right to be very honestly speaking so, so it's not about the looped surface uh, looped edges only you can select any sort of but yes definitely it worked in a looped edge in a very nice manner but if you can control which is uh, the edges which are not looped so you need to understand the how the how this uh, circularize option actually works so this particular uh, edge will also uh, work with the op uh, with that option like go to edit mesh and go to the option box and say apply now you can see it it also circularize the you know uh, the edges which are being connected so i would rather say that this circularize option actually works on on the connected edges rather than the uh, uh, looped edges so looped edge concept is actually not that much of true now if you say that okay fine will it go for uh two looped edge i mean two connected edge if you see that this will create a very odd result uh, you can see that it's trying to make it but it's not able to because the thing is that it's the two straight i mean one straight line cannot create a a, a circle which is really uh, uh uh you know tough to make now moving on i would say that it's not only work on the edges also it can be worked on faces and also as well as 
the vertices now that's the speciality of the circularize option it's work on the sub object level of or the component level of the object or the or the polygon so you can see if i select one single face and hit apply it's actually trying to circularize it but the problem is it don't have the supported vertices so that's why you actually cannot now if you add divisions over here in the option which is already over here now you can see there is a very nice circular uh, i mean shape which is coming out but the problem is that there are open vertices also you can see that uh, the the subdivision over here you can see there is an open vertices will create now this is very uh, a complicated uh, 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 this is this is very uh, tricky to handle now if you select the faces with sufficient you know uh, edges and hit apply now you can see you can easily uh, you know uh, create the circularize option or from here now so i would i would rather suggest that don't think about uh, don't think for the uh, in terms of the edges only you have to think about the sub objects or component levels also like the face and the vertex so that's where the main uh, uh, you know trick is lying for the circularize where you can expand the entire level of control uh, of, for uh, for creating a, a circular a circular object now if you see my object over here uh, which is came out is exactly like this now what i'll do is i will go to select the faces and shift drag and that's it press 3 and your object has created a circular knot or bolt whatever you say so it's very interesting to see that how <coughs> sorry pardon me that uh, how we can actually create so easily a single uh, circular object now oops i think i have i have selected uh, accidentally some other ages also uh, yeah okay no problem okay so now i also shows want to show you that you know how it it will uh, react on on a on a uh, on and what is the difference between uh, the circularize using in face or age and the uh, 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 this one uh, in vertex now okay so i selected one entire shape now <coughs> entire sorry entire circ, uh, linked uh, uh, faces and hit a circular now this see see this is very interesting one that i i i haven't actually changed anything but it's trying to create something like crazy crazy stuff now that's not true it's not trying to create some crazy stuff it depends on how your selection is actually happened now see if you <coughs> select a particular corner and hit apply see see how it's actually behaving it's trying to flatten up that particular portion and also try to create it as a circle now try to understand that you need to sell the selection of your components or the sub objects are very very important now i can select these four and hit apply and it's trying to convert it to a a circle uh on on an average plane you see this this, this is a planner uh, the, the is just converting them into a planner uh, uh, the co-planner option now this is very very interesting because this will create a a very whole lot of different kind of uh, i mean uh, option to you i mean different kind of uh, option to you to control or create a very complex shapes now here is a very interesting uh, option if you want to extrude the extrude thing happen according or or maybe the circular thing happened uh, which is be confirmed on the same surface or maybe aligned with the same surface then you have to uh, uh, select the the surface option either per vertex or average but you have to also uncheck this evenly distributed option then Let, let's see how how we can do that now first press uh, with a per vertex option and hit apply now it has been applied with the according to the vertex and per vertex option now if i say evenly distributed off now you can see the entire surface area or the shape 
is actually been preserved now and but it has been circulated it's trying to circularize that so it's a kind of a very interesting uh, feature which has been create uh, which which we can use uh, uh, for creating some uh, some really complex shapes like you can see if i extrude it now from a normal point of view shift and extrude now you can see just a minute shift drag and then shift drag okay now so now hit three now you can see it's a very nice way to create a smoothened up uh, you know surface which has been extruded or protruded from from a particular uh, flat surface which is really really nice now uh, I will show you another very interesting one which uh, which is really uh, help us to create this kind of uh, this kind of shape now you see that i work with the edges the two components edges and faces but we can do it in in vertex also which is a really interesting one see why i'm saying it's interesting one is that uh, <clears throat> let's suppose i select this vertex this vertex this one this one this one and this one now <laughs> As I said earlier, that if our selection is not correct, then it will create a very weird kind of result. But that will give you also, as an artist, an option to create some really different kind of a complex shape. Like I selected only the uh, the outer part of the vert the outer vertex of that particular uh, shape, and just resetting them and say hit. Now you can see it has been circularized only the outer part not the inner part or or this particular vertex now this is really interesting because i can actually select this shape and if shift drag and shift drag and by doing that i can create a very different kind of uh, object a different kind of a very complex kind of shape which has been coming out or protruded uh, and have a very sharp uh, corner on the on the top whereas whereas I'd like to get back to that option whereas I will select all of that vertex or maybe a few more from here another layer maybe yes okay one left which will create a very odd kind of shape so it's and now you can see it's really really interesting that it it's converted the entire area or the faces into a into a flat surface like a co-planner stuff you know now i i would also like to show you the other options over here because uh, um uh, Normal offsets, how long, how extruded uh, uh, your object you want to, like you know, you know the base surface. Radial offsets, offs offset that is for the the size of the circle, which is really really interesting. Normal direction, you can go for. Uh, I would definitely suggest it for the face and all because I don't see any you know uh, differences uh, until unless you are using uh, apart from. Uh, edge and face vertex don't have that much of a cap capability at least i didn't find it if you can find it please let me know and uh, twist which is really nice you can you know twist the outer circle which is uh, really interesting relax interior is actually an option to relaxing the faces or the vertices or the actually i would rather say this will be really nice for the uvs and all that it i can relax the interiors or i will maintain the shape of the face or individual face which is very very interesting and in maybe a very important while you are creating a a complex uh, shape objects and you want to have a, a uv unwrapping option intact 
you know according to according to your uh, requirement so this is a very interesting one that you want to relax your interior or not which is uh, uh, really handy alignment i already told you evenly distributed option is also a very important one if you don't want uh, that's a very whole lot of a different object uh, add divisions is a one thing which i will uh, tell you to uh, not to use until unless it's required because uh, add division is only going to create a division on the outer circles. Let's let me show you this. See, so, so it will it will create your objects more smoothen, but it will create some unwanted faces, which will which will incre which will increase the size uh, size of the faces. Now you can see that uh, this one has become a five sided. This one become one, two, three, four, five, six sided. So it's very interesting. So, but you can hit the supporting edges option on only when you add the divisions so it's interior as so of by default it will be off so you want only in the exterior part that means the outer edge out of the outer edge so you can see immediately it will create some uh, edges but the problem is that you cannot control it in the interior now if you go to the interior you cannot uh, control it out, outside so for that you need to create a, you need to select on the both sided because it's a kind of an obvious that you are not using any quad or tri faces. So if you say both the shapes, then only your objects are actually uh, maintaining the quad or tri count. So this is what the problem is that your topology is actually been gone. So uh, this is a very tricky one. That's why I will not suggest you to, you know, increase the add division until unless it's an absolute necessary or you are creating some really hard surface which you don't need to create a, a manual texture which will require the unwrapping of the UVs in a very complex manner. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's it. So if you select these faces and oops, I think I have, yeah accidentally selected that one shift select drag sorry shift drag that's it great so i can create the very complex objects like this or maybe something something else which which come up in your mind uh, which will be very very handy with this particular tool so hope you enjoy this tutorial please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and twitter for the new ones thank you very much